Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So today we're going to repot my oldest still living uh, Miltoniopsis. It's the Miltoniopsis Princess Diana. And uh, as you can see, it's a fairly big one. I think this is my, yeah, this is my biggest Miltoniopsis. Whoops, I'm sorry that was the tripod. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's a bit of a climber. So I need to address that. And we have quite some uh, new growth actually. So, and they are a little bit towards the pot, towards the, growing to the side of the pot. It should be, uh, it could be still okay, but I wanted to um, repot this. This is making new roots now, and I just want to give it a bigger pot because I'd like the bush, more bushier uh, orchids in general, the bigger orchids. So, therefore, I, uh, I keep it at one, uh, one plant. And I thought, well, I think this is nice to make a video about. So we're going to take it out of the pot and then we're going to put it in this one. I already prepared this uh, pot and I'm going to put her in a uh, net basket, as you can see, with a lot of holes in it. So we have quite some air and a lot of uh, moisture, well, humidity around uh, the roots. And I'm trying this for about um, a year now, maybe a little less, maybe, but uh, these net pots as uh, self watering with uh, with a reservoir obviously and I see very good results so um, yeah I think this one might like it as well so therefore I keep it uh, want to try it in this uh, fairly big pot so it can grow on and uh, become even bigger and uh, give our more give us more new growth and probably some blooms but first of all we're going to take it out of the pot and check if my camera angle is okay maybe I can turn this a little bit so you can see the table a bit better and like I said so let's see what we are uh, going to deal with so yeah this one has quite a nice uh, root system we see some older roots also some brown roots that doesn't mean that they are dead in uh, some cases there are but some cases they are don't they uh, shoot out again so but yeah this one is uh, been in this pot for quite a while let me check quickly because i have the date on the back side of the the name tag and it says uh, 19 2019 so that's uh, one to three years yeah about three years and apparently it loved it but it's now growing so big so we uh, like i said we need to take it out so let's do that first let me check quickly yeah you can still see it and yeah we have quite some roots i only need to get it out of the pot and i think i'm going to leave most of the roots alone that's what i do because it has a good root system and i think there are always some dead roots but not much this is still alive these might break off because they need to go through the back to the hole again so yeah we're going to lose some one but we saw that there were uh, new roots on the way again but this is very solid very very solid so i think it has also on the inside of the pot quite some roots but yeah let's see i don't want to damage the new roots of course so this is always a little bit of the hard part to get it out slowly pulling yeah it's coming out Just try to be as gently as i can let me see if some are stuck yeah this one is stuck it did go come out and did decide to go back in the pot so that one we need to sacrifice that one for this repot so i'm going to uh break that one did i that's it and there it is maybe i can pull it out yeah so that's one damaged root yeah now they need to go through that hole so we slowly yeah there they are going so i think so far we did uh, fairly well let me give you a close-up of the roots I even have some leca in the bottom. It's when I have leca laying around doing nothing, I might use it to put it up, just a base layer. And then we have the small uh, pumice with Cintiq. And I found that combination to work very well for my Miltoniopsis. So don't really focus on the leca, but more on the Cintiq and 
the uh, pumps. That's the media to go. But like I said, sometimes I just have laid it around doing nothing. So then I might use it as a first layer. But that's it. So let me just quickly check. I think most of the roots, like I said, are doing fairly well. We have some brown roots. So some older roots, but not that much. So like I said, I'm just going to leave it like it is. I don't need to do anything about it. If I'm going to start to untangle this, those roots are in the uh, Cintiq. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Oh, whoops, that's zooming out. Zoom in, turn the camera. There we go. You can see now the better. I think the roots are in the Cintiq. So if I'm going to pull it apart, I'm going to break so many roots. So that's not what I'm going to do. This one uh, lives like this for uh, at least three years, as we saw, and uh, it should be fine. It should be fine. So I'm going to put it gently in the, this uh, blue pot. So I can prepare now my table. I'm just putting it aside for a second. So I can, uh, like I said, prepare the stuff that we need. Here's the basket. So I'm going to take it out for now. I have this long water meter here. Let me zoom out a little bit. And so we can see it. So this will uh, give me the indication of how many, how much water is in the side of this pot. Some strains of uh, Cintiq as a wicking system, because this is going to be like this in the pot, as you can see. So we have quite some room uh, left down there for the reservoir, but these strings of uh, Cintiq will touch the water and uh, wick it upwards. And that is what we want, of course. And what I do like, um, but yeah, I'm going to need a pot because the water meter needs to go somewhere and otherwise I will pull it out if I put it on the table like this. So I'm sorry, I hope you can see it. I'm always, I'm not very, yeah, not sure if I'm not very good at this, but the camera angle, I'm not always sure how to put it, but I hope uh, it's doing well so far, the angle. <laughs> so yeah, I was talking about the Cintiq and the small pumice, but this is big pumice. So what I just want to try is a uh, beautiful pumice. I really love this. This is the best, I think. <laughs> I have so many good results with pumice. I, I really, really love it. Anyhow, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the, the root bulb as it is, as we discussed. So we have some room around it because I'm going to put it in the middle of the pot. We have all kinds of growing directions. So therefore I put it in the middle, not to the side, but in the middle to give it some room for the coming years, I hope. And I will uh, use the bigger pumice with the Cintiq, uh, within, uh, of the mixture with the Cintiq and the big pumice. So we have some air holes because these are fairly big, but I think that my orchids, generally speaking, do like the high humidity around the roots, not necessarily need to be packed in something. So I'm just going to try to give this Miltoniopsis um, a little bit more uh, air, even though it has smaller roots, and normally you might hear it a lot, is where people say if it has small roots, need small media. But I've found in this setup, self-watering with a lot of water, a lot of humidity around the roots, the air is very welcome as well. So that's what we're going to try. So that's why I'm going to use this media. I'm not making a mistake. I'm really choosing this media. <laughs> um, let me see, just do a quick layer. I think what I'd like to do is use this pot as a reference. So I know this was completely filled with roots. So even though it's a little bit higher than a pot, the roots will bend a little bit in, so inwards, but I don't need much, uh, for, uh, much a thicker uh, first layer, I should say. But just to give it an indication. And that pot is easier because otherwise I keep uh, moving the arcade and with those new roots, you don't want to do that. So therefore I just use the measurements from this pot and that gives me quite a, a good idea on how, how much media I need. And this is all. So this is how it looks. 
so far. I hope you can see the strings of uh, Cintiq going in between the palmas. So that's going to uh, take the moisture all through the pot and uh, from down there upwards and around the roots, etc. Plus the air, that combination is wonderful. Like I said, I see so many good results with that uh, setup. So I have the orchid back again here, as we can see. Like I said, I'm going to put it uh, as much in the middle as I can because of the new growth. I'm just checking now if every one has quite some room to uh, to grow, <laughs> and I think it has. Let me check the level. No, it's a little bit too high. I, I don't need an extra layer. It's a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a sort of hole in the middle. Yeah, it doesn't make much difference, but just a little bit. So I hopefully can lower it a little bit more inside of the pot. Yes, this is better. Let me check. I'm just eyeballing the level here. Hmm. Could go a bit lower, actually, if I, I'd be honest. Oops, I, uh, yeah, you see, I have an extra water meter here. I need to take that one out first. And that might give me a little bit more room to move the uh, woods uh, around, because this one we don't need anymore for this orchid. And you can easily reuse them and just clean them up and ready to go. Maybe loosen it up. Yeah, I don't want to interfere too much with those roots. I hope this is not boring, but this is a very important uh, process of, uh, of this up potting. Um, I'm just leveling, but I'm going to, it's still going to be above the uh, potting uh, level, the level of the edge of the pot, as you can maybe see where I have my finger, but not much. And I have quite some nice immunity uh, in my room, in my orchid room. So I see that these, uh, even though they may start a little bit aerial with the Miltoniopsis, they still uh, reach the, uh, the media. So it's not a big problem, but if you have them growing inside the ho your home or you have a orchid room, a greenhouse and not that high immunity, it might well, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a problem. But luckily for me, I can get away with it. But I'm going to take some sheets off. And these sheets are still uh, wet. They keep keep uh, being wet. I, may, I don't know if you can see it, but they're really wet. If you have a healthy Miltoniopsis, it doesn't matter that much. But it might get some... Um, rot started so therefore i like to take them off and that's also an indication that i have quite some height immunity i normally have a fan going on at directly on them so that's that's very important and you need the air movement especially when you grow them cell watering and these um, sheets start to uh, get wet airflow 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 very important so okay i think i have it positioned in the best way I can do with this pot. If it was a little bit deeper, it was a little bit easier. But anyhow, we're going to uh, work with it. So I'm going to make some extra noises here. <laughs> a little bit in the back there. And a little bit here. Try to keep it as even as I can. And now we're going to uh, use these uh, strings of Cintiq and move it um, around. Let me check what's the best position. A little bit over to this side, I believe. And we have another one here. So I can cover this end of the pot. And then we're going to put in another layer of pumice. And that's how we basically putting this one up in layers. 
how to reach the, this part of the pot, like that. And again, some Cintiq, and now I put it underneath those new roots. Just a string of Cintiq, just to keep the humidity there and to try to invite, invite the roots to go downwards to the Cintiq and then downwards into the media. Try to get them there. Most of the time it works. There we go. Yeah, it feels very well, very good. I think it has more room to breathe. This new setup. I'm going to cover the rest with, uh, with the plumbers. As you see, the bigger ones, like we discussed earlier, on. Sorry. I apologize. That was my mic falling off. I don't hope I hope it didn't make too much noise. Is it still work? Yes, it works. Don't know how that happened, but <laughs> it felt on the floor. Okay. The back part are just lifting the arc it up a little bit. That's okay. I'm not pushing too much, even though it might seem that I'm really pushing. I'm not. I'm just letting them fall into place, basically. That's what I try. And just, I'm just checking if I need more or not. And I think it's okay. So then, for the last part, we will uh, grab some uh, pebbles. Yes, these make even more noise. <laughs> and give it a top layer. to provide this uh, pot from getting a top dry layer. And I, I, I like the looks of it. But it works. And the uh, arcus, they do not mind pebbles. Because these do not uh, absorb any moisture. So they do not take moisture from the roots. Most of the times they do not warm up uh, if you don't have them in the sun. These will turn black if I water them. But these... Uh, stay a little bit cooler and that's a little bit uh not not a little bit it's a beautiful side uh, effect uh i think i could say for the miltoniopsis because these like it cooler in uh, in, uh, in most cases anyhow so just a little bit uh, cooler pebbles around the roots no problemo i think they prefer it even not that deep pumice but it feels a little bit warmer i hope it makes sense I think if you work with these materials, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you don't, if you never heard of it, I highly suggest uh, trying it out. As you can see, this one is my Miltoniops, my Arcus in general are doing so well with the Pumice. And the Cintiq. I know both of them can be hard to find, but if you can find it, just give it a go. If you like this setup, of course. And I think uh, you can even use it uh, in a nut. Uh, cell watering setup. Just water your arcus regularly and you can grow them in inorganically. Just keep an eye on uh, uh, when to water them and just get a natural feeling for it. But if I uh, couldn't grow them cell water, I still would use the pumice. It works fantastic. Okay. I'm not trying to sell it, but just share my experience. Everyone, buddy, is luckily free to do what, uh, how it, what, what suits you the best, what feels the best. But this is very my, my very honest opinion. Okay, so we are going to uh, flush this a little bit and then uh, we've, we, we are done. So let's uh, grab the camera and go to the sink. So welcome at the sink. <laughs> it's a little bit darker here, I hope you don't mind. Just uh, oral water, nothing in there. It's just for a, uh, for a quick flush to get some dust off. I uh, clean these stones, these pebbles and the pumice, but still there's always a little bit of dust and I just like to uh, try to get it out as much as I can. Even though I found the sun pots where I didn't do as good of a job to <laughs> get rid of the dust, the arcs don't mind at all. It's just, it looks nicer I think if you have a more cleaner reservoir, but that's all. I, I don't have any problems with it. So then we have this uh, reservoir, of course. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with water and just a little bit of this stuff. 
seaweeds, algamic, it's called here with the uh, with Biobis, a very beautiful brand. And as you can see, I need a new, uh, this is my last one, but it works so well. The Arcus really love it. And they take off uh, with root growth very, very nicely if you put it in this stuff. In my experience, they really, really enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do for the bottom. And I have a little bit of water left, but I need a little bit more, I think. So I'm going to get quickly a little bit of our own water. And I have that ready always to make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> so just a little bit of this uh, seaweed, just a teeny tiny bit. And that's it. I'm not gonna measure this. I always do it like this and it works fantastic. So sometimes they get a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. And I stir it just a little bit like that. And I'm just going to fill up the reservoir to make sure that I have enough water for the reservoir. And this one was a self-watering pot, so I have some holes still here. So I'm not going not to need to go overboard with it. As you can see, some holes. So yeah, I need to uh, remember that when watering. But the indicator, the water indicator should uh, give a sign when it's full enough. I checked it, so it should be all fine. So I have a little bit left, some uh, some seaweed water, and I just use it as well. Just put some uh, nice hormones in there to uh, make this orchid feel home again. I think. And we put it back in the pot. I use this cable ties on the side to make my own uh, where I can hold the pot and just don't remember the name on top of my head. I'm sorry, but just very easy to get it out of the pot. Where it is. Whoops. Here you can see it. Oh, it's this hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> So you can uh, pull it, I have two of them, and it's very easy to uh, lift your orchid out of the pot. It's very easy to, uh, to make. So uh, I'm going to put it back in the shelf. Uh, on the shelf. <laughs> Not in the shelf, on the shelf. So here we are, you guys. It's on the top shelf now. It's the biggest one. <laughs> and that's because the pot is a little bit bigger, a little bit higher. And it was just right underneath there. That's where it did live. But uh, because of that uh, pot size, I just uh, needed to give it a little bit more room. Otherwise, it was touching the, the uh, lamps. And that's okay. It's not that high. But still, this looks nicer, I believe. So uh, it's a very uh, big pot. And I really hope this one uh, will uh, get happy in her new uh, home. I, I think so. And we can do an update, if you like, in a few months just to see what happens. I definitely will do check the uh, the pot just to see. But uh, yeah, like I said, I have good responses from other orchids and this new, uh, for me, new setup. So I think it uh, it's, uh, should be fine. Well, thank you for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions, please let them in the, leave them in the comment section. Thank you for your time. I really enjoy uh, having you guys here. So I hope you enjoy my videos as well. This was, I think, a nice, quite easy uh, up potting uh, Miltoniopsis uh, video. Once again, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.